using the axe under council budget cuts. City chiefs have asked library users to discuss options including membership fees and using the library as a health hub. But residents feel the council is pushing them towards community asset transfer, where the library would be owned and run by local volunteers. Solent News Now spoke to some of those at the meeting. Uh, we've already paid for our libraries through our taxes for years. We pay for the council staff to run them through our taxes. Um, as for community cafes, I think that if it's a community cafe, it should be run by the community. I don't want to see Costa Coffee. The one the council's proposal was, which is on the consultation, was the community asset transfer, um, where the whole building becomes uh, controlled by a community group. Uh, the Friends of Cobbett Road Library is not going to be able to take that on. You're taking on the liability as well as the asset. So what happens when the roof leaks? How, how do you get books from the uh, and, and the other library services? Uh, it's just a complete non-starter. Um, so that, that's just ridiculous. Some of the options seem worth investigating. Certainly a health hub seems a good idea and I think that one should be looked at. Um, possibly we should be paying to use certain of the library facilities such as the community room or possibly using the computers. So we do accept that. What we don't accept is sort of the whole community asset transfer business. And the situation is such that we have a budget of around about £600 million a year. Large chunks of it are ring-fenced. Some goes to public housing. A large amount gets passported straight to the schools. Um, some go for specific grants or activities. And you're left with what's known for the anoraks amongst us as the general revenue fund, which is the money we have to spend on things that we would like to do as a council. And over the course of the, next, the last three years, that fund has gone down from about £90 million to 50, and in two years' time is expected to be £20 million. Local governments, next to benefits, have taken the biggest hit. Do you, do you believe you could run it without professional librarians? If I answer that, I'll be predetermining the question of the libraries. This library is so central to Southampton, okay, there's more schools in this vicinity, close to this library, than any other library in Southampton. The decision has not been made. No, you said assistance will be forthcoming after the decision has been made, but what we need is information to help make a decision. Do you only understand the difference? Yes, I do, but you, all, all we're looking for is your ideas from the consultation. We're not looking for a 60-page brief. Why are ideas? We're just looking for an idea. And you've come up with some excellent ideas tonight. You've talked about cafes, you've talked about shared services, you've talked about... They were all on here in the first place. Yes. But the, you this consultation is directed, all of these items are directed ultimately towards I, asset transfer. Wait a can, it's can, can, I, can, I, can I just make a point from the chair? The really final point that I really felt from the room tonight, and I hope this is fair to say, and please tell me if it's, if it's not, was that the council really <laughs> needs to provide the community with some help into properly developing these proposals into tangible realities. And... You know, there's a, I think there's a fear in the room that people are all involved when the consultation's on, but then suddenly the door will shut and the people will not have a say and officers will make the decisions and there won't be any other options. So I think it's going to be very important that perhaps after the consultation closes, um, a few of us come together from the community to meet the council on a regular basis and try and work with them, with their support, to come up with some of these constructive options and it's not just left entirely onto the shoulders of the community uh, to make those happen. Don't forget you can get in touch with us with your own stories by email on news at thatsolent.com or you can use our Twitter handle that's at Solent News Now at Solent News Now. Stay tuned, we've much more coming up after this short break. When you're suffering with the aches, pains and congestion of cold and flu, it can be a real struggle.